Free out of Ukraine. The uh, Ukrainian soldiers had uh, mined a bridge and were going to de detonate it by remote control to prevent the Russians from uh, having an easy time just driving right across the bridge. But the remote control system went down. So one brave U Ukrainian soldier said, I'll detonate it manually and went off to his death. Went off to his death defending freedom. You know, if that was one of our soldiers, we'd give him the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor. We would name Navy ships after the man. We would hold him up as the greatest, one of the greatest defenders of freedom. Gave up his life for his country and his freedom. There's honor in that. <clears throat> you know what there's not in honor? Republicans. Republicans these days. They're cheering on Putin. They're cheering on a brutal dictator. They're against freedom for the Ukrainian people. They're against freedom here. Because they damn sure don't like that democracy. Countries all around the world, especially all the democracies that are standing with Ukraine, doing everything they can short of putting troops on the ground to protect Ukraine because Ukraine is a democracy and they want their freedom. You know, that freedom stuff that uh, Republicans used to talk about and still do. You know, anytime something comes up, it's all, oh, they're trying to take away our freedoms. Hmm. What about the freedoms of the Ukrainians? Hmm. But you know what uh, Fox Noise is doing? They're backing old Putin. And old Putin's taking that and putting it on his state TV. So he can show the Russian people, say, yeah, look at it. See, America's cheering us on. But then again, not so fast there, Putin, because we noticed a bunch of your people are out protesting. They don't want this war. But you know who wants it? Putin. And Republicans. Republicans are cheering on war against a freedom-loving people. And they're questioning anything but Joe Biden does. Oh, they say Joe Biden's weak. You know, on uh, the political stage right now in the world, Biden is head and shoulders above any damn Republican. You remember when Ronald Reagan ran on being tough on Russia? Well, those days in the Republican Party are gone. There's not a Republican Party anymore. These motherfuckers hate freedom. They hate democracy. They side with the dictators. They side with the aggressors in war. Hmm. So that's what we got with Republicans. And just stand that in con in uh, context of that brave Ukrainian soldier that went and detonated those bombs knowing he was going to die doing it. That if that was one of our soldiers, that's Congressional Medal of Honor stuff. That's having a Navy ship named after you. Because we value freedom and we value that bravery. We value that bravery. But not Republicans. No, they don't like that stuff. They don't like democracy. They holler about having their freedoms taken away. Because uh, some kid says, well, I think I'm gay. Mm. Taking away freedoms. That's what they tell us. Can't have those freedoms taken away, but yet they're cheering on Putin as he's taking the freedom away from a people, a people that had made the decision in the past, not that long ago, that they wanted to go with democracy. They wanted to be a people like us, or what we used to be before we got this shit stain of a damn Republican Party now.
what we used to be a people that can determine their own way govern themselves but that's not what we get republicans day yeah they do an insurrection they uh they prop up putin they're playing fox noise on russian state tv mm. yep that means ronald reagan's not a republican no he's not a republican so I tell you what, you Republican motherfuckers, and kiss my motherfucking ass, you cocksucking bastards. Haters of freedom you are, and you show it to us, so we know exactly who you are.